So what would happen if you would take the thing and the invasion of the body snatchers and a movie about pregnancy and you put it all together and you make a movie out of it? Hmm. This is going to be a good day. It's a screen, baby. What's up everyone, my name is Joe and this is Different Take. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and remember to click the bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of Snatchers and also let me know your favorite sci-fi, action, horror, movie, comedy, your favorite genre bending movie, how about that? There you go. Or your favorite movie about pregnancy, how about that? Snatchers is a, whew, uh, a combination of a bunch of movies, it's like a action, adventure, comedy, horror, sci-fi, fantasy type of deal. It's a it's a combination of a bunch of things. Stars Mary Nepi? Mary Nepi? Mary ne Nepi? Nepi. Oh, I have no idea. It's like he's trying to speak to me, I know it! And Gabrielle Elise. Directed by Steven Cedars and Benji Kleeman? Kleeman? Kleeman. I don't know how to pronounce these names. I apologize. Snatchers is about a girl named Sarah who, thanks to her relationship with this kind of clueless heartthrob guy, Skylar, she is in with the cool girls. But Skylar contracted a extraterrestrial bug during his summer vacation. After just one night together... Felt so good. Did you? Sarah discovers she's nine months pregnant after one night. I'm sure everything's fine. That's some shit. Desperate to keep her condition on the DL, she turns to nerdy ex-bestie Haley. The girl soon realized this alien problem is only just the beginning. This is why you use a condom. Oh, this is so not why you use a condom. This movie is like if you take Invasion of the Body Snatchers and The Thing and you kind of mix it with like a story about teenage pregnancy and a story about friendships and about parents and relationships with parents as well and basically, a, a, you know, the whole nine month long situation <laughs> when, you know, someone gets pregnant, especially a teenager gets pregnant and you just put all that in like one or two nights and you combine that with like a sci-fi action horror story, that's what this movie is. It is a combination of all those things. It really just, it does not fit one particular box. I wasn't sure what to make of this movie when I first rented it. I saw it, I rented it because it looked interesting. It really did. The title is interesting. The promo poster for the movie looked interesting. The premise seemed interesting. So I thought, what the hell? Let me just rent it out and watch it. And when I saw all the genres listed underneath there, that piqued my interest because if you're putting all those genres in a movie, it doesn't really fit one box. And I like when movies do that. And this was a lot of fun. This movie's funny and it's smart. It's well-written. And I think a lot of people will appreciate the different symbolism that this movie has regarding, you know, teenage pregnancy and pregnancy in general and all that sort of deal. And like, you know, friendships and, friend and relationships with your parents and, during this whole issue, like it kind of takes everything in this whole process in nine months or whatever and puts it all in one night or two nights. It's it's pretty interesting. So how far along are you? A day. The practical effects in this movie are awesome. So it just really makes it really, really cool. And it's it's scary too. When you're watching it, it doesn't seem like it's like overblown CGI. It doesn't seem fake. There's a little bit of CGI because of certain creatures in it that you just have to have CGI for, but it's just, it falls in line with the campiness of the movie. So it's not, it doesn't take away from it. It doesn't feel too goofy. It just, it, it fits in with it. But there's enough good practical effects in this movie and the tension in it because of kind of how serious they take the certain scenes and the atmosphere and the, like the lighting. The lighting and the cinematography in a lot of these scenes are really, really good. And the score to go along with these scenes really contributes to 
the field. There's a couple times in this movie where I'm watching it and I was just, you know, having fun with it and all of a sudden I'm just like, ooh, this is pretty creepy. And all of a sudden, boom, and he's got a jump scare. I'm like, ah, god damn it, that was cool. Where did that come from? But these things happen in this movie and it's like, you get scared, you get, you jump. And there's times where you're sort of waiting for something to happen because of the feel. And I give all the credit in the world to the cinematographer and the directors because those shots rival a lot of the horror movies that I've seen. They're even better than a lot of the horror movies I've seen where they try to emulate that exact thing and they can't even set the mood as well as this movie did. And it's like when they're in the dark hallway at the urgent care and the hospital, like it's just, it's like, ugh, it's just, it's dark. It's like red, the lights are blinking, you can't really see. And it's really like, ooh, okay, ooh, this is good. The script and the story is really well written, but the dialogue and some of the scenes could have been tighter. It's the only thing I'll say. It's just like, it just seemed like certain scenes dragged out or like just had like filler in there and it could have just been just a little bit tighter. But it didn't take away from the overall enjoyment of the movie. The acting is pretty good. I, I would say I was surprised because I didn't expect some of the performances that I saw. The main character played by Mary Neppe, is that how you pronounce her name? And the best friend played by Gabrielle Elise. Their chemistry on screen really showed because they clicked. When they're bickering and fighting back and forth, it really seems like they are two people who used to be friends when they were younger, but kind of fell apart. How about we just slap you on the kitchen counter and aim you at the Vitamix? Okay. There's three other characters that were really good. I mean, everybody did a solid job, but the actor who played the mom, the police officer, and there's another one who played like the other guy who was sort of helping them find, he was funny. And you know, they probably could have wrote some more funnier lines for him because I feel like he delivered with the lines that he had. But the actors who played the teenagers were really believable as actual teenagers. They spoke in a language that I didn't understand what the f they were saying. I'm a role model. Do you want to know I'm a role model? What? Do you want to know I'm a role model? Do you want to know I'm a role model? I remember watching it going, what the f what are they saying? What? I don't even, what does that mean? Like, I, what? The guy who played the boyfriend was pretty good too. He's just all over the place because of, he has a bug in him, obviously. So there's just one part in particular where the douchebag boyfriend guy yells at Sarah, played by Mary Neppy, the main character. And then like right after that, he like helps her with her homework. And it's just like, what? It just, he's so all over the place. And at first you're like, what the hell is with this dude? And you realize, oh, he has a bug. He's over the top in some scenes, but he's funny in a lot of scenes too. The best two performances in this were Mary Neppy and Gabrielle Lise, definitely. This is a fun, good movie. It's really good. It's not great. It could have been great, but it's really, really good. If you can watch a good sci-fi action, kind of scary, but fun movie and not take it seriously, watch this movie. If you're looking for that kind of movie where you just want to get taken seriously, then you might not like this movie. But if you like The Thing and Invasion of the Body Snatchers and you want to just, you know, have fun with it, this one could be right up your alley. But also, if you're watching this movie thinking it's gonna be some fun teen movie, it's not. It's gory at parts and it's, it's, the practical effects are good and it's nasty in a lot of, it's really nasty in a lot of different scenes. <laughs> I have a feeling it may be too gory and too nasty for like the, the younger crowd and the crowd who likes like sci-fi and horror. I think they may think this movie is too light as far as dialogue and setting and everything else. If you can sit back and just relax, you can enjoy this movie. This is a fun, well-written, just crazy ball of fun movie. Basically, I say, yeah, give this movie a chance because it's good. And I think movies that use practical effects, good practical effects, have good lighting and cinematography and can really build a good kind of scary atmosphere and kind of blend genres to kind of reach a bunch of different audiences those movies should be applauded because it's not easy to do and the fact that they did it i think should be you know appreciated because it's good it's a solid movie not a lot of movies can take a chance like this and come out with a pretty solid movie that actually has some substance to it and actually means something a lot of times people put these movies out and it's just empty or they try to do all this different stuff and it just doesn't work. 
they made it work. It's not perfect, it's not great, but it's really good. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you, Selena, take it away.